Hi there, so I've not been on here for a while, it's been a crazy time and I guess I lost my footing for a bit, but praise God all is well now. I have some information that I think is pretty important that I want to share. Please take it to the Lord for your own confirmation because I am fallible. Two days ago, whilst in prayer, the word blackout came to me. This struck me because on um, 31st of August, just a few weeks ago, I received a vision where I saw people sitting around my dining table. I was reaching across to hand something to someone when it went dark very suddenly. It was daytime scenes, so it wasn't an electrical blackout. It was the light in the sky and it went out like a light bulb. The next morning, this Bible verse came to my attention. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work, John 9.4. Adding a clue to this puzzle, back in January 2022, I had a dream that I've talked about before on here of uh, darkness engulfing us in the middle of the day. I had a house with a light to run into, raised up above the ground as floodwaters came in, and when the flood subsided and it was still very dark, I went back outside. There was electricity in the air with little zaps of lightning everywhere. I was praying for mercy when I awoke very abruptly to the words, He comes quickly. In March this year, I made a video about um, a pretty well-known prophecy, The Three Days of Darkness, that was doing the rounds on YouTube. Because of my dream, I explored it, wondering if it was connected somehow and also to the April the 8th solar eclipse over America, which seemed to herald a warning to repent and coming judgment. This prophecy is often thrown out on the basis that a Catholic mystic prophesied about it, but there are scriptures that support God bringing darkness down in the middle of the day as a form of judgment. For example, and it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Amos 8, 9. How we are deceived is when we are told some truth but mixed with lies. So if there is going to be a period of darkness which would lead to widespread repentance, wouldn't the devil want to throw a spanner or two in the works? by causing Christians everywhere to ignore it and not prepare or warn, whilst at the same time encourage praying the rosary, which is pagan, or praying to Mary instead of praying to Jesus, our only mediator, uh, for protection and mercy. Am I certain that there will be a three days of darkness? No, not 100%, because I only have fragments of this puzzle, but I do think there are enough pieces to take it seriously, and take it seriously now. I've been repeatedly warned about a coming darkness and the reason I think it's almost upon us is this. Just in the last couple of days, 193 countries have signed a global governance pact passed by unelected bureaucrats in the United Nations. This is a new world order. They use words like sustainability, inclusion and dignity, which are just flowery language for global communist control. What has also caught my attention is their use of the slogan, leaving no one behind. So what has this got to do with an approaching blackout? Well, in December 2022, I made a video. Before I play it, if you find yourselves in sudden darkness, pray to Jesus for mercy, pray for forgiveness and pray for protection. He will provide. Or better still, do it now. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our only saviour and light in this dark and evil world. Order out of chaos is coming and the man of sin, more popularly known as the Antichrist, will finally be revealed and deceive many. When the blackout is over and the lights turn back on, people are missing, where have they all gone? Rush to the TV, it'll help to make sense. A worldwide broadcast, let the lies commence. Hungry, scared and struggling to cope, the new world order will offer you hope, but their kind of help comes at a great cost. Accept their mark and your soul will be lost. You wished you'd heeded the warnings spoken, full of regret, grieved and heartbroken. It was true all along, now everything's clear. Jesus is real, and now judgment is here. The missing have gone to their king from above, those who eagerly watched with great love. But pick yourself up and dust yourself down. It's not over yet, there's hope to be found. Huge numbers are saved out of great tribulation. Call on the Lord to receive your salvation. Reject the world system's satanic lies. Have courage and faith to the end for the prize. Just a small glimpse of a future event for those who refuse to believe and repent. Jesus Christ loves you more than you know. He died for your sins to save you from woe. 
Political, religious and scientific deception is bringing us under oppressive subjection. True liberty comes through faith alone in Jesus Christ who sits on the throne. The truth has always caused great offence, enmity with God at our own soul's expense. Despite this, he waits with his hands held out still for us to grab hold of our own free will. Beyond this short life, a forever home, the kingdom of God or darkness alone. The war for our souls rages each day. Christ is the door. There's no other way.